Hi friends, it's Anne here and today's video is my buys and buys for the month of August in 2021 and I'm joined by my little sidekick Harley today. Say hello Harley. <laughs> He's patiently waiting for something right now. So this video is basically a recap of everything I bought. So it's kind of like a monthly haul. And then I like to do uh, my empty. So it's my monthly haul plus my empties for the month, all in one video, just to kind of see how things are coming in and how things are going out of my collection. So without further ado, let's start with the things that I bought in August. So the first thing that I bought, I actually bought in the end of July, but it didn't come in August, so I didn't want to talk about it until this month, is these shadows right here. These are the Cleona shadows that I picked up. I did a whole video on them, so I'm not going to belabor <laughs> this. The bottom three are like separate singles, and then these seven are in the perfect neutrals bundle. So really enjoy. I've been playing with them over the past month. Really enjoy them. I'm really glad. I'm, I'm very glad with my like individual selections too. I, I just know for me light colors like light iridescent lid colors and like that kind of thing is is my jam right now so again don't want to belabor those i have a whole video on them if you want to see swatches but i will just talk about price i was trying to keep myself under a hundred dollars which was difficult i had to keep taking things out of my cart i ended up spending in total 88 dollars and 10 cents on the cleona shadows the most expensive thing being the Perfect Neutrals bundle, which was around $47. Like an idiot though, I forgot to use, some people have like a discount code. I do not have a discount code. I'm not sure exactly who has them, but apparently they're out there. So it's like an affiliate code. So it's worth looking up. I don't know if they're actual affiliate codes or they're just like a straight up discount. So like an affiliate code would mean that the person gets a bit of a kickback or if they're just like, here, here's a code for you to use. I did not use one of those, but apparently they're out there. So if you buy from Clona, remember to use a code. Uh, they also usually do sales every once in a while. I don't know if they'll do one this fall because things are a bit different right now like with covid and they've been like their cycles for manufacturing they also moved i think locations so not sure they'll do a fall sale but they have done a fall sale in the past i'm missing something hold that thought okay so two things that i picked up at winners or marshall's not really sure which one the first one is this ardell Mag magnetic lash and liner i tried these on in a try on video i've used them since the liner, the only thing I would say is the liner on this is pretty stiff. I wish the liner, I should probably try maybe buy like that Inglot Duraline or something. I feel like the liner is just a little stiff, so it's really hard to get the liner on. But once you get it on, the lashes stick pretty good. Um, again, I always have issues with the inner corner. So that's always the hard part. But I was surprised. I looked these up online to see what they were retail. They're like $25 <laughs> retail. I bought them for $9.99. So if you are wanting to try magnetic lashes, Go to like TJ Maxx or Winners or Marshalls or TK Maxx, I think is the one in the UK. Any of the ones that like don't pay full price, like $25, that's a lot of money for something that's like so risky. Like it's not like lashes or something that you people, most people wear regularly. And lashes are like, I feel like you never really know if the lash is going to look right. So I got the style... I think it's 110, um, it's under the sticker there, but I'm pretty sure it's 110. And that's one of the reasons why I picked this one because it's like, it looks fairly safe. <laughs> and I feel like they are, I feel like they don't look too crazy. The other thing I picked up was the Marc Jacobs Enamored Lip Shine, with like, what do they call this? Hydrating Lip Gloss Stick in the shade Sugar Sugar. I basically bought this because I'd heard of the shade and it was like popular and like I've seen these products and it's popular. I kind of wish I didn't buy this. The shade is way too light for me. It's a click up. so. Um, I can't like click it up and click it back down again, but let me just do a little swatch on the back of my hand. I have no idea why I'm doing this with my left hand. Um, yeah, it's even kind of like patchy. It's not the best. Again, this was at Winners or Marshalls. Hopefully it's focusing on my hand there. You can barely even see it. Like it's very light, very, very light. Um, it's one of those ones that's almost too light that I feel like wearing it on its own doesn't look that great. So yeah, kind of regret buying that, but whatever. I paid $9.99 for this as well. 
think I couldn't find these. I guess they don't sell them anymore. I couldn't find them on Sephora Canada anyway, but I kind of looked up the price. They have other lip glosses and those other lip glosses are around um, $19 or so. So like half off. I already talked about these, I, I think on my Instagram. So I don't think I talked about these in a video, but in on my Instagram, I bought two Becca products that were on sale because maybe I did talk about these in a video. <laughs> I feel like I've said this before, um, but this is the bronze Bondi Sunlit Bronzer. Glad I picked this one up. It's like the middle, there's like five of them and this one's right in the middle, but it's kind of red toned and you can kind of see it on camera there. Really, really enjoy this. I'm really glad I picked this up. Because um, I wasn't seeing this specific shade in stores. I was seeing a couple of the deeper shades. And I think I saw one of the lighter shades at one point. Um, and then I also picked up a mini of the Opal, the Shimmering Skin Perfector. And again, I picked this up basically because I haven't been seeing this in store, like in the discount stores, which I have in the past. But I was like, you know what, let's just buy it uh, before, before it goes away. Um, because I really did want to try this. Um, the only thing I'd say about Opal, oh, let's not do that. That's the same thing. Why am I doing everything left-handed? I'm right-handed, by the way. Well, I'm right-handed, but I do things with my left hand all the time. And I, like I, if I go to do sports, which I'm not a sporting sport kind of person, but like golf or anything, I do with my left. So there's Opal. Again, it's a little more goldy than I thought. I don't know, I thought it'd be a bit more rosy. But I like it a little bit. I actually like this better than Moonstone, I think. I haven't really done a proper comparison. Moonstone's like the same. I would say Moonstone's very similar, just maybe brighter, like a little brighter yellowy gold. Um, so I got those on sale. So I paid $25 plus tax for the bronzer and then $15 plus tax for the highlighter. The bronzers are, I think are around $50 and then the mini highlighters are around 25. So they're pretty expensive. And then the only other thing I bought, and I picked this up on a whim, like I wasn't even looking for it, um, but I've seen a few people talk about this. This is a Saint Tropez, or Saint Tropez um, Fresh Watermelon Scent Bronzing Mousse. I really, really like this. I almost want to buy a second one. However, I barely use this. Like I've only used it maybe th twice. Yeah, I think I've only used it twice since I bought it, but both times I've really enjoyed using this. I also have a Sephora mousse, which I actually quite like. The Sephora mousse is pretty good. And then I have that Isle of Paradise. I have the face drops and then I have the spray. I, I don't like the spray. <laughs> I find the spray, it, it's very prone to being patchy and the shade, not, I don't quite love it, but I really like this. Like this doesn't even have a scent. Like I know it says watermelon, but like I don't even really smell much of anything. Like it's so good. And like, I really like this mitt. So this came with a mitt as well. And this mitt's like a bit thicker. It's a bit fuzzier. Whereas the other mitts that I have, um, I have one from Vita Liberate, is that it was called? And then I have the one that came with the Isle of Paradise and they're both kind of like foam-like, whereas this is like fuzzy fur-like. Like it's very, very nice. It just seems to really make the application really well. And yeah, like this was, I mean, the price on it's $30. So I was like, oh, $29.99, that seems kind of expensive. But I'm like, I'm pretty sure this stuff is really expensive. Like I kind of went and bought this before I even looked at the price, I think. And the actual price of, I'm pretty sure the actual price of the bronzer is $50 Canadian and that's without the little like thingy. So I felt like that was a pretty good price because like it doesn't really ever go in sale. Like you might get 20% off obviously at Sephora. Um, but yeah, I'm so glad I bought this. So if you're looking for a bronzer and you see this, I would recommend it for sure. It's not super dark either. That's the one thing it doesn't say on here like light to, like it doesn't say like light to medium or medium to dark like most of them. I would hazard to guess that this is a light to medium. Um, Cause I think if it were dark, I would, I would have noticed. It would have been pretty dramatic, uh, but it didn't, doesn't really feel like super tanny. That makes sense. I'm not wearing any self tanner right now. Like this is, this is me, which I feel like my body is so much more tan than my face. Cause I put sunscreen on my face to protect it. Anyway, tangent, let's talk about the totals. So, in August, I spent $201.05, and the retail value of everything I bought was $275.45. So, like, basically, the only thing is I got 
Well, I guess the Cleona stuff, none of that was on sale. So there was like half the stuff I bought was not on sale. I did bring in 17 items, uh, which, what, nine of them? So like half, almost half is eyeshadows, like single eyeshadows. So it seems like a lot, but they're small items. Uh, mostly makeup and just the one skincare thing. Now, <laughs> I've already spent some of my September budget because I did place an order at the very end of August. I bought... Uh, I placed a ColourPop order, so I will be doing another ColourPop haul. I can't believe, like, I usually buy ColourPop. Last time I bought it was, like, 2018 or 2017, and then I bought it this year, and I was like, okay, that's it. I'm done. I kind of did a big order. Yeah. <laughs> I was intrigued by the mystery boxes, and then I was intrigued by a couple of ballots, so that will be coming up. I'll do a specific video on that ColourPop unboxing. Um, but yeah, I've already, I've already delved into the September budget early. So let's talk about the empties. So I just, I just want to preface this with, I knew it wasn't going to be this bad or I knew it wasn't, it wasn't going to be good, but I didn't think it was going to be this bad. <laughs> this is probably like, this is the worst empties month I've had. I almost didn't want to do this video because I was like, the empties are so sad, I just wanna like combine it with next month. But then, because I had such a, a pretty big August haul, well, like the eyeshadows, and then I've got obviously ColourPop for next month, I was like, I don't want my buys to be together because then that's huge. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is, this is the smallest empties ever. Let's talk about the other items, of which there are two. <laughs> The first one is this bubble bath from the Pure Boutique. This was uh, with my Pure Mata order that I bought last August, so it took me about a year to finish this. I'm not loving the smell anymore. It's very, it's not coconut. It's something else. Um, I really liked the smell when I bought it, but I, I think maybe it's just with it sitting here. Like, even using it as the bubble bath, I really liked it, but I found when I opened this box, so I already did my like tallies, I was like, oh, I don't like that smell. <laughs> like it just is almost too strong sitting here. I don't know if I'd repurchase this. This isn't, it's got a few things like sulfate free, but it's not like a purely Canadian thing, I don't think. Like I think this is manufactured somewhere else. That was kind of one thing I didn't like about this line is you, it, it wasn't really clear like are the, I think, the ingredients are not Canadian, but it's maybe assembled in Canada. I'm not a sure, which is like a lot of things, um, but it's not really clear. So I don't know if I'd buy that again. I did finish up one of these Olay bars. Like I've talked about that I bought these because they were on sale instead of buying the Dove ones, which I like. I like the Dove Go Fresh, the green ones. And this just even like as it got, so this is like the box for the new one, but the one that I was finishing up, even when I got near the end, you know how it sort of just like crumbles into small pieces? And I normally like to stick those small pieces and then stick them on to like the bigger one um, and like morph it into a Franken soap as I go along. And this just went weird <laughs> by the end. It was like gummy. <laughs> like I didn't even want to stick it to, like I was just like, okay, when I got like, I don't know, got about this big, I like threw it out. I was like, no, I'm done. It's weird. I, I've already said I don't I don't really like these. I'm just trying to use them up. Except for it came in a pack of four. So I still have three to use up. Like because that one's pretty much full because I really just switched that out like last week. Now we'll get into I guess kind of makeup items because one item's fragrance. There's three. <laughs> and you're gonna know all of them because they're all from Project Pan stuff, I think. Um, this one is the Sol de Janeiro uh, Body Fragrance Mist. This was in my graveyard project. I There's still a little bit in there that I can't get out. Um, but yeah, done this. I liked the scent, I would buy it again. I, again, I like the mini because I've talked about this. I get sick of fragrances. I don't use them a whole lot. Um, so the mini is like just the right size and yeah. I liked this. It was fine. I finished a lip gloss. Yay! For me, finishing like any lip product is 
like a moment for celebration. So this is a Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in Rosy Future. Really like this color. It's one of my favorite lip glosses. I would repurchase it. Slightly annoyed they've changed the doe foot. I did buy a new one in the shade Sandstorm and they've made the doe foot big like the Fenty ones. This is a pretty comparable color to the basic like Fenty Gloss Balm. It is a bit more brown though, but on the lips, you're not gonna really see a different uh, difference. I also find that this is less thick. So if you find the Fenty, I find the Fenty Gloss Balm sometimes a little thick. Um, this is a bit thinner, but it's the same kind of finish. So I, I recommend these, I really like them. They don't have a huge shade range, unfortunately, but I quite like them. The last thing is this little guy. So this wasn't in, I think this was in a project pan earlier, but I never finished it. This might've been in my drop 10. Not that that was that long ago. I just can't remember. <laughs> um, this is the bra uh, Buxom, I always want to call it Bronze Goddess. It's Divine Goddess Luminizer, I think. I can't see any of the font. So I ended up cutting it open and like scraping it out. So I really like went to town on this uh, to finish it up. Apparently it has a shade too called Venus, but I think there is only the one shade that exists. And you can only buy this, at least in Canada, it's not on Sephora, it's only on the Buxom website. I really liked this. Um, I realized I've had this for a really long time. Um, this came in a kit in 2014, uh, come the summer stash kit. And yeah, this is a really nice product. It has that like minty, so you know their lip glosses, how they have that minty feel. This also has that. So don't touch your eyeball. <laughs> Made that mistake before. Don't touch your face, like your eyeball in your eye area when you have this on your fingers. Um, but I really enjoy this product. I really like the way it looked. Um, I feel like it's a super underrated product. I feel like it's one of those products that's just going to disappear because nobody ever talks about this. But if you're looking for like a liquid highlighter, I would definitely recommend this. I do like that it has that cooling sensation like in the summertime. That's like a really nice, it feels really nice. You actually even feel it like in the wintertime. It feels a bit weird. It's a little like, oh, too cold. But really nice like sensation. Really like the tone of this. And it's sheer, so like I think it's gonna work for a really broad range of tones. Like if you're the fairest of fair, this might not work. And if you're like really deep, deep, but like even like medium to deep, I think this would be nice on your skin as well. Like I think this would work. So yeah, like if I came across this like at Winners or something, I would pick it up. If it was in a kit, I'd be happy to use it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm kind of sad that this seems to be like a product that's not like regularly available like you know how certain products like this old de janeiro like this there's gonna be kits where this is in it again like i don't have a problem it won't be a problem picking that up again but i don't know if i'll ever come across this again um but i don't know if i'd want to commit to buying the full size because this like i said i had this since 2014 so it took me a long time to get through that and that's it that is my empty <laughs> that's so sad so in total, I had three technical empties because two were other items and the value of those two items was $25.94, I think. And the retail value was not far off at $27.66. I don't think I bought, it was kind of a guess at some of these price, like retail prices. So that's why I was kind of like, eh. I know like these came in kits, so they were a little bit cheaper and I probably bought this a bit on sale, so. It was a bit of a guessing game on that retail price thing. Uh, so yeah, that's it. <laughs> I brought in 17 items and I let go of three plus two. So not a great month in terms of balance, but I will say this, like I was thinking about this while I was preparing this video. I feel like I'm really brightly orange right now. Maybe that's a little better. Sort of dialed down some of the brightness there. Um, I will say this, I feel like I'm in a phase where I'm using a lot of products. Like I'm sort of using this and using this and using this and then using this. So while it means I'm not like focusing on a couple things and finishing a couple things, I feel like I'm really, I don't know, I'm really using a lot of different things like within my makeup, my hair care, my skincare. I feel like I'm using a lot of different things. So there will, there will be a month coming up. <laughs> probably not till late in the year, like November, that will have a fair amount of empties, especially like skincare empties. Like I feel like my face stuff, like all the stuff that I use on my face, everything is like half, it's like half full. So yeah, while this month was maybe slow on the empties, I feel like there's a reason for it. And I don't feel too bad. I mean, I wish I would have had a few more empties, but for the most part, I'm not, I'm not mad-ish. <laughs> 
anyway, that's my buys and buys for the month of August. I'll put the totals of the buys, the things that I brought in, my haul, and I'll put the totals of my good buys, my empties on this side, so just see the full picture. And that's it. If you liked this video, feel free to give it a little thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you did subscribe to my tiny little channel here in Toronto, Canada. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.